What's up, YouTube? I'm Mike. Today I'm back with uh, <laughs> kind of, I don't, I don't even know what to call this video. Um, hopefully, I don't have a bunch of food in my face. I just got through eating an entire pizza uh, after I took a dose of GHRP6 and Oh, it took 17 minutes for my pizza to cook, and by the time it was done, I was so rat. I think I must have accidentally pinned a little bit more than usual. I was, my stomach was hurting. I was so ravenous, and I just ate the entire thing in one sitting, which I think it was like 1,300 calories. Um, so I'm doing good on my calories today. Uh, one of the things I've been doing recently, trying to come up with ideas for more content, is that I've been going through YouTube, like the homepage, just like seeing what it would promote to me and trying to find some videos that I could talk about like you know critique respond to react to and um, I'm failing at finding anything that I can even sit through to to actually try to make a reaction to so the, the first part of this video is me requesting from my audience please if you guys see something on YouTube you guys spend substantially more time on YouTube than I do uh, I, I'm usually just, you know, creating my own content that you think that you would like to get my hot take on, uh, something that might induce a trend rant or something, you know, whatever, anything, just whatever, whatever. If you if you come across a video that you think I might have an interesting take on, please let me know uh, because I'm struggling to find uh, anything of value on YouTube. Uh, the vast majority of shit that I see on YouTube is just so fucking asinine that to even, I mean, it's like, it's just like, I'm defeated, I, there's so much work, it's, it, the only thing I can basically say about most YouTube channels is, this guy's a fucking retard, don't listen to anything he says, um, which is, you know, it's not good for, you know, when you're trying to shoot at least a 15 minute video, uh, it, I mean, that, I guess I could just turn it into shorts, like a whole series of shorts that are like, retard alert, don't listen to this guy, um, the, the person I'm talking about today, uh, I really, there was a point in my bodybuilding career many years ago, three years ago, where I actually watched a little of this content. I, I tried to. Um, it was a point in my, it, it was that, I was at that point in my bodybuilding career where I thought that the reason I wasn't 275 peeled on stage at the Olympia was because bodybuilding was 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 intricate. You know, like range of motion or, you know, a lot of these coaches and a lot of them have doctor in front of their name, which I'm starting to figure out if you're a bodybuilding coach and you're a doctor, you probably should not be listened to at all, period. Like, just absolutely don't pay attention to this person. Um, it seems to be a trend. Um, and, and it's not necessarily because they don't have, because they're not, you know, they're not successful. It's just that because, um, bodybuilding is really basic guys. It's really simple. You don't, the, the, the person I'm talking about has 1,900 videos to date. Uh, it's probably in the title. So the, the, who we're talking about today is Renaissance Periodization with Dr. Mike Isratel, Isratel, I think. Doc, Dr. Mike Isratel. I don't know what the fuck he what, what the fuck he's a doctor of. Apparently he lectures at Lehman College. And he loves to go into the fucking minutia of all of this shit about all of the different ways to maximize this and minimize that and this range of motion and this angle and it, 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 it's ta it's like taking tic-tac-toe and trying to turn it into chess. Bodybuilding by and large is tic-tac-toe. It's really fucking basic. And that's the thing that I, I'm constantly trying to impress upon people on this channel is that the vast majority of you are overthinking the sport. You know, I was, I was standing in the locker room the other day and this guy comes in, he starts hitting me up about training split this and that. And it's like, dude, pick heavy shit up and put it down. It really does not matter. I know you guys. I know you guys are. And it's usually the natties. You know, it's usually the natties or the guys who are not on giant fucking cycles that are concerned about. Well, you know, do, what do you think I should do? Like, a, like a bro split? Like push pull legs? Like how many sets? How many reps? Like, what 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 should I do? It's like, dude, shut up. It doesn't fucking matter. It really doesn't matter. 
I have tried all different kinds of training programs. I generally stick. I, I generally stick to to um, <clears throat> pyramid. I usually whatever I'm doing, whether it's push pull legs, whether it's a bro split, whatever I'm doing, typically I believe in in standard pyramid training. So like I set a weight that I can you know I, I do 12, 10, 8, 6, four sets, four sets, 12, 10, 8, 6 on reps, and the weight pyramids up as I go down. I've gone through through periods of time where I just try to do high volume, you know, like n never going below say 10 reps, you know, three or four sets of 12 to 10 reps. No, no one thing has stood out as being hand and shoulders above the other. And the reality is that the, the best, probably, if you really wanted to talk about best, Probably the best thing is just constantly changing up your routine, you know, and that doesn't mean you like I think I think way back in the day uh, re Renaissance periodization is the guy who convinced me to go on like You know like four or six weeks of, uh, of one type of training like maybe heavy lower weights and then and then you go through a deload phase and then you go through a middle grass I, I, I've tried all this shit and um, uh, I think the truth that, that a lot of people don't want to hear, especially the natties, is that uh, it's steroids. <laughs> that, that's what it is. It's, it's steroids and food and any kind of training. Like that, that's primarily what it is. The body is really not that sensitive, I promise you, to perfect form, perfect range of motion. And we see this played out ad nauseum in the bodybuilding world. Like I, I've mentioned this several times in the past. Guys like to come in and crit critique my fucking, my bicep, dumbbell, alternating dumbbell bicep curls. Jay Cutler got picked on his entire career because they said he was cheating on his fucking bicep curls. Meanwhile, the guy had 20, 24 inch arms or some crazy shit, 21, 24, I don't remember. Giant fucking goddamn arms. Okay, a lot of this shit is genetic, okay? So it doesn't matter how I train shoulders. I can train shoulders not at all. I can train shoulders uh, with progressive overload on a, on, a, on, a, on a bro split with pyramid. I can train shoulders to just get a pump and go in there and just do like three sets of 10. It doesn't fucking matter whether I train them, don't train them, how I train them, they're fucking giant. My shoulders are just big and capped and round, period. With my pecs, I've had to work really hard to get my pecs to grow. My number one advice to anybody about the best way to grow your body is more sets, more sets, more sets. If you are not growing a particular body part, more sets. Um, that's what I did to catch my chest up. You know, people would be like, I think it was Israel, in fact, who was like, you only need to have so many working sets and then you, you I, I, one of these days I got pissed off because my chest wouldn't grow. And so I said, I'm gonna go do chest until I'm fucking dead. I'm gonna do every chest machine in the fucking gym. I'm gonna lift chest until I can't move my fucking arms anymore and see what happens. And you know what happened? My chest started growing. Weird. Um, I'm about to do that with arms. I think one of the things that um, is holding my arms back right now, which are at 18 inches, is uh, that I, I kind of like, I, 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 I know that on back day I'm hitting biceps and so I've convinced myself that on arm day I don't have to do like a full arm day because it's like a supplemental day and I think I'm about to go crazy on massive number of sets on arms and see if my arms don't start growing again. I think the best, I think the best thing that you can do is just a shit ton of fucking repetitions. So uh, the critique that I have, the reason that I'm making this video is because of the 1,900 videos that Mike Isratel has, has posted to his channel about all of the fucking minutia that you can imagine about anything related to the body and the way it moves and the joints articulate, all these things. I have to admit that uh, Renaissance Periodization, the YouTube channel Renaissance Periodization is probably one of the most anabolic channels on YouTube of all, 
Like, if there was one channel on YouTube, obviously besides mine, for the reasons I'm about to give you, that will probably lead to maximal fucking muscle growth, listening to doc, Dr. Mike Isretel, he has got to have the most anabolic channel on all of YouTube. And the reason that I say this is because we know, um, scientifically speaking, that, you know, when you... you, you Everything you do in the day is the precursor to muscle growth. So you get up, you do your stretching, whatever you do in the morning, you drink your coffee, you start getting calories in, you try to, you try to make sure you hit all your macros, you, you, you know, your micros, you get your vitamins, your minerals, you're staying hydrated, then you go to the gym, you hit a savage workout. Maybe you, maybe you get a, a massage, maybe you do some tissue work, maybe you're one of the fucking idiots that does cupping and thinks that actually is going to help you. Whatever, all of the things you do during the day, trying to build the, the, the most impressive physique you can build, those things are all the precursors to growth. And then what happens is at the end of the day, you go to sleep, and when you're sleeping, your body goes, does the maximum amount of work of actually realizing your goals by bu building and repairing muscles and doing all of these things. And so the reason that I found that Dr. Mike Isretel's channel, Renaissance Periodization, is the most anabolic channel on all of YouTube is because if you... You can just pick any video, it doesn't matter. Don't, need, don't even concern yourself with, with the title. Just randomly pick a, a Renaissance periodization video and play it in bed at night on normal speed. And if you do that, you will go into a fucking coma trying to listen to this guy talk. I have never in my entire life on this planet come across somebody who is a more fucking miserable person to listen to than Dr. Mike Isretel with that fucking monotone. I mean, I, 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 if I tried to actually get anything of value out of this guy, I have to put him on double speed. I feel like I talk relatively fast for most YouTubers, and when I listen to my own videos, I can't even stand listening to myself talk if I'm not, at le if I'm not on 1.5 speed. Every one of my YouTube videos that I play back, I play back at 1.5 speed. I need Dr. Mike. I need to put him on 4x fucking speed. Or, I mean, if I, I've, I've got a video up right now. Uh, exercise scientist critiques Sam Sulek's workouts. Holy fuck, dude. If I, if I watch this video after eating that pizza... That's a wrap on the rest of my fucking day. I'm going to fall out of my, my chair and I'm going to be drooling on the floor inside of fucking 10 minutes. So since, since what we're looking for um, in, in the pursuit of muscle growth is deep recuperative sleep, I cannot recommend more Renaissance Periodization by Dr. Mike Isretel. This guy is like, he's, he's, he's got to be more powerful than heroin at knocking somebody the fuck out. And so from now on, I think instead of taking an extra dose of whatever sleeping pill I use to try to calm my brain at the end of the day, I am just gonna start putting on, I'm gonna get my headphones, randomly select a Renaissance periodization video and put that shit on. I think that I, that, that, you know what we should do? We should send, like, we should send some headphones to the people in Gaza. Because if they were to put the headphones on while the bombs are falling, uh, they wouldn't even give a shit. Uh, they, they, would, they, would, they would be absolutely comatose the entire time the war was going on. So that at least if a bomb happened to fall in their building, they wouldn't even know about it. Because this guy will put anybody <laughs> straight to fucking sleep. I do not understand how he can have 1.69 million subscribers. Uh, well, I do know. I, I know the reason. The reason is because everybody wants to believe the opposite of what I'm telling you. Dr. Mike Isretel will give you a million fucking excuses for why you're not hitting your bodybuilding goals because he tries to turn the most basic thing into some science fair experiment, and it just really isn't. It, it's really simple. All you have to do is pick up heavy shit, put it down, do it three to four fucking days a week, eat, eat a surplus, 
and take a shit ton of gear and you will have a fucking enviable body. It's really not that hard. It really does not, nobody really needs a coach. All of this shit is really basic. That's why I don't charge anything for my consultations. Because if you get a consult, a coaching consultation for me, I am not going over all of his fucking bullshit. None of it fucking matters. So if you are like me and you need the best way to get deep recuperative sleep without adding <coughs> or taking any type of sleep drug or narcotic, please let me recommend that you tune in to Renaissance Periodization and listen to Dr. Mike Isratel talk about, um, I think that full range of motion on the squat machine is the best way for you to build the quadricep that you have always been trying to build. Big goofy grin. Uh, if you uh, do your squats as to grass, you will also probably build glutes and hamstrings. Fucking kill me with this delivery. I the the thing that people don't understand is that it doesn't matter how valuable what you have to say is, if your audience is in a coma while you're talking, they're not getting the data. So I know there must be some Dr. Mike Isratel fans in my, in, my, in my subscriber list, I'm guessing. Or maybe the reason that you're all here is because you agree, and this guy is, is stronger than fucking a combination of benzos and opiates and you can't stand to sit through his videos but if you happen to be a fan please tell me what is the trick of the trade do you listen to him on double speed do you download the videos and put it into some kind of editor where you can put it at light speed so that you can fucking stay awake how do you do it please in the comment section let us all know how we can get the most out of dr mike Isratel's genius at renaissance periodization and as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.